It's Thursday, 2nd of March 2017, and we're pleased to bring you today's edition of Local News. Welcome. In the news today, permit requirements for boat owners in Marowijne implemented, motor vehicle insurance increased, Minister of Social Affairs says that basic health insurance still exists. I'm Sharmila van Leeuwarden. Your local news begins now. The implementation of the permit requirement for boat owners maintaining the route Albina, Saint Laurent and vice versa took place yesterday. That was announced by the Citizen Information Center of Marowijne. Boat owners who transport persons on this route without a valid license will be sent back by the Coast Guard. They get the opportunity to make things in order. Boat owners who operate commercially without a valid license or an inspection certificate are prohibited to perform their activities. The District Commissioner of Marewijne, Freddy Daniel, gets the support of the agencies in the district to carry out the permit scheme. All vessels using the Marowijne River should be annually inspected by the Maritime Authority Suriname. The Surinamese Association of Insurance Companies, SURFAM, says that as of yesterday, all insurance companies have increased their liability insurance for motor vehicles, the so-called WAM insurance. The main reason for the increase is that the level of premiums is no longer sufficient to carry out the WAM insurance. This may have social effects on the users of motor vehicles, says Armand Achaibersing, chairman of SURFAM. He adds that the premiums have increased considerably. He said that although the insurance is increased, the discount and no claims cost will be maintained. There have been modifications varying between 20 and 50% for motor vehicles, and for motorcycles it's higher, namely 80%. The turmoil at the Social Affairs Office at the J.A. Pengelstraat was not necessary. Due to miscommunication, a lot of insured persons no longer know where they stand. But according to Minister Polak, there's no reason to panic. The ministry frequently announced which areas are in turn to receive the basic insurance. Also, the ministry indicates how the extension of the basic insurance card should take place and what the cardholder should do to make the process go well. The ministry further announced that it still believes that each Surinamese citizen, especially the less fortunate, has the right to be supported in view of the social agreement of the government. This was your local news for today. Thank you for watching. <laughs>